All right, overcoming growth barriers part two. How do we do this? How do we overcome growth barriers? I'm gonna just cover two things. First is we have to know what our purpose is. Do we know what our purpose is? Yeah, our purpose is to reach with the gospel, those people who are near to us, but far from him. We wanna love people with the gospel of Jesus. We have had this year already 24 baptisms. And uh, the year's not over yet. That's probably where we're going to end this year. We'll see. Whatever God has. But that's exciting. Uh, that, that tells us that, you know what, we're, we're on the right track of knowing what our purpose is. Uh, secondly, we want to have a plan. A plan to accomplish what our purpose is. Uh, so what does that plan look like? I'm just going to give you four aspects to that right now. And the first one is we want to love kids well. We will sell out for kids. Our church was planted and founded on sharing the gospel of Jesus with children. And so we're all about that. Young, old, um, we will sell out to that idea in many different ways. A lot of our programming at our church revolves around loving kids. The second part of our plan is that we want to do well at getting smaller as a church. As we grow in numbers, we want to get smaller at the same time. And we do that through growth groups, through a small group setting where people are gathered and they are challenging one another to grow in their faith. They're, they're supporting them as a Christian brother and sister. They're praying for them. Uh, they're opening God's word together. So growth groups are a big part of the plan. Uh, another big part of the plan is our Sunday morning worship. Our Sunday morning worship, we want to be the highlight, if not a key highlight, in people's lives. Whether you're here at our church as a regular attender or a member, or whether you're someone that would just walk in off of the streets, every week we get at least four, most often more, people, first-time visitors. When people hit a hard spot in their life, they think to go to church. And we want church to be a place that they hear the Word of God preached, they they experience reverent worship through song, and they sense an atmosphere of love. They, they feel that the people in this building l really do love one another and love them. And so uh, a big part of that is right now, we just don't have the seats, so we're doing some things to, to remedy that, make more space for people. But that's a big part. And then uh, the last one, this is a long-term part of the picture, but that's the new church facility. We are planning on, Lord willing, a new church. I don't think any of us think it's going to come as soon as we'd like it to. We'd like God just to drop the the money, the two or three million dollars it's going to cost to make happen. We'd like him to drop it in our laps, but we're not really willing to become mortgage poor for a, for a building. A building will help us in accomplishing our purpose, but it's got to happen in God's timing. And so that's kind of a long range part of the plan. But we want to um, overcome growth barriers. We are at the, the place where most churches, where 85% of churches, when they hit the 200 person barrier, they start to plateau and decline. And we've said this many times and we'll continue to say it. There's too much at stake for us not to push through this barrier. People's lives, people's souls, people's destinies are at stake. And so we must, we must do what we can to push through, which is the purpose of these little videos. I love you. Keep loving one another. Keep loving the people in your lives with the gospel. And we will see you next time.